Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus. Venus? <laughs> Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Oh, my gosh. These messages are general messages, so they may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements to see what else is going on. We have flirt, extend your lighthearted energy towards others. I'm still laughing about Venus. What's going on with Scorpio? What's going on with Scorpio in love? Scorpio. Past life relationship, of course. Separation. So you've known each other before and time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Usually this is the current situation when separation comes out. <clears throat> Some of you might be flirting and just seeing what else is out there at the moment. Um, we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. I do feel like some of you might be... You might meet someone when you're with friends. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm just going to say it. Put it out there. Um... But I do see like during the separation, you're kind of not really allowing yourself to just sit there and wallow in the sorrow. I feel like you're really putting yourself out there. It does seem like a different type of energy, like a more positive energy. And I do feel like there's a lot of focus on yourself. So that again will, that, that helps you attract love, like when you're focused on yourself. So why am I shuffling again? Okay, let's get one more card. Okay, we got soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. We got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There could be a soulmate coming in. I don't usually pick these many cards, but it happened. There could be someone that you're attracting into your life. I do feel like you just kind of lightheartedly flirting you know seeing what's out there and just being positive there's there's really no stress i'm feeling a very easy feeling here weightless no intense drama going on or anything like that and um, let me see scorpio current person what's their energy towards scorpio Current person, what's their energy towards Scorpio? Death. Could be a fellow Scorpio that you're dealing with. There is someone who wants change here. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Nine of Wands, that is speaking of the separation. Your person kind of flying solo right now and you. There is someone like... We have the Ace of Cups. I feel like... This current person that a lot of you are dealing with, and I feel like it was in the last reading as well, that the more they, the more distance between you, like the more separation, the more they value this relationship, the more their feelings for you kind of transform. And I feel like, I feel like every ending to this past life relationship is a rebirth. Um, at, at least when it comes to their feelings, that is like they, they, their feelings get stronger every time they're not around you this person all right so scorpio's energy towards this person scorpio's energy towards them queen of swords oh my gosh too many queen of swords who would have guessed <laughs> scorpio's energy towards them page of swords wow page of wands i really feel like this page of wands is about you um i feel like it connects with this flirt card because it's that new and exciting energy like exploring seeing what's out there a new beginning being new to it it being exciting i feel like that's what this is about but as far as this person you got swords up like hella swords all right could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're dealing with, but I, I just knew the Queen of the Queen of Swords was coming out for your energy towards them. It's like back off. You're saying it's the energy of this relationship. 
For some of you, it could be that you're just mad at them for the moment. Some of you could be just totally done with this person. But we have the Three of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. We have the Six of Cups. This is speaking of someone who's missing you. This is speaking of someone who wants to reconcile. But the Six of Swords is speaking of... I feel like it's both of you who deep down want or at least wish that this could be more smooth sailing, this relationship. You know, I feel like you just, you would, you would have made it work if it could work, but it couldn't in your eyes, at least not for now. So you got your swords up um, when it comes to this person for now. But let me look at the main spread, see what's going on. All right, Scorpio. What's the, oops. What can Scorpio expect in their love life right now? What's going on with Scorpio and the current person? Scorpio and the current person. Okay. Scorpio and the current person. The Empress again. Remember the last reading? I had the Empress a lot. Could be dealing with a Leo, Cancer, Libra. And we have the High Priestess. I was really, I'm really hoping the witch thing doesn't come out again. But we got the High Priestess. Looks like we're kind of moving out of that energy, but it's still here. So, um, your person, they, we got the two of wands here. This is their wishes, right? This is them in contemplation of what to do next. What that They're really contemplating their next move at this point. Um, we have the sun the six of pentacles there is an energy of this person feeling like for some of you it could be a more cocky energy where they feel like you need them you know for others of you this could be someone that you helped out quite a bit they could be seeing you as that person who really helped them it doesn't have to be financially, it could be emotionally. But we have the chariot. They see this relationship moving forward at some point. They just don't know how or in what direction. They don't feel like it's over. In their mind, it's not over. Because as you can see, they're contemplating their next move. And with this card being here and the next move card being the card next to that, second to that since they're contemplating their next move and then we move on to the actual placement of their next move and it's the five of wands this does look like they might lash out like they might get upset about something especially if, if you are flirting like if they do like catch you flirting or see that they might not be happy about that but i mean who cares but like we have the ten of cups and we have the page of cups for some of you this person may lash out and then apologize it doesn't have to be a major like argument but they might come at you about something like they might come at you about something it doesn't have to be an actual fight it could be just them confronting you about something like maybe they caught you flirting they feel like it was inappropriate even though you guys are separated it's something like that like the passion is going to be turning up here with this person because i feel like they are thinking about you and contemplating things and then if they were to see you flirt with someone boom it would be like what the hell here i am like hoping for scorpio to forgive me or whatever and they're over there with someone else not that you shouldn't be it's your life 
if you are like done with this person but i don't feel like they're gonna be happy about that so we got the sun that's how they're seeing you very positive energy they see you moving forward and being positive and i see that too you got this attraction card i do feel like you're in a really positive energy even to the point where you're even like lightheartedly flirting and that's not something that scorpio does because scorpio is deep so you must really be in high spirits and a good mood to be just open and lightheartedly flirting and just enjoying your life you know so this ten of cups here hmm I feel like there's a lot of positivity when it comes to emotions, um, when it comes to your love life. I don't know if this is a soulmate that's coming in that's going to bring you this emotional fulfillment or what, but there's a lot of positivity surrounding your love life right now, believe it or not. We have the tower. This is their current energy. And... For some of you, there could be a shocking pregnancy. The Tower and the Empress could be, and I did say this in the last reading, there could be an unexpected pregnancy, but it doesn't have to be. Okay. It doesn't have to be that. Why the Six of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles. Oh, wow, the Empress again. Some of you, like the last reading was... A lot of empress energy so again with the pregnancy stuff coming up seven of swords i i just feel like this person is i don't know if they want to God, this is like a soap opera for some of you. It could be an actual marriage separation because we do have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person, they may feel like someone is taking you away from them. They may be very jealous over you. Highly attracted to you, of course, with the Empress. And I feel like there's a worry or, or a, jealous, um, a jealous side to this person where they could really get jealous at some point about you um, you kind of enjoying your life and people hitting on you and stuff like that. Why the chariot? Why the chariot? <laughs> the chariot again. Could be dealing with a cancer. We have Leo energy as well, Libra as well. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They're not, they're really disappointed with any separation that's going on. Nine of Cups in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This can speak of the, the separation. So even if you're not married, this person's not happy and they feel like this relationship, uh, they feel like this relationship or marriage should continue even though they don't know what direction it could go in. Like they just, because of their feelings, they just feel like that's the way it should be. Whether it's working out or not, whether you're happy with them or not, they feel like it just, it just should continue. Like that's just what they feel. Why the sun? Why is the sun here? Again with that Leo energy, the hermit in reverse strength some of you may have been going through some depression and you really dragged yourself well i should say climbed clawed your way out or well, just you really rose up out of that depression and now you're in this really positive energy or you're going to be in the next few days or next few weeks because I'm, I'm seeing that with this positive energy here then there's this depression and this strength so it's that Scorpio strength that you have to really overcome things that is really coming out. I'm seeing July 12th in my head, which is the end of the Mercury retrograde, thank God. 
and that um that could be the time where like say you're going through depression right now because it could be triggered by the retrograde at the end of that retrograde you're kind of rising up out of this like you're coming out of this strong you know so you may have been feeling some depression and then really rising up maybe you start posting more um and maybe you go out more after this whole thing and um start flirting around i feel like you're just rising up and this person they're gonna be watching you right but they're not gonna be happy if they see any flirting so i'm just letting you know that if they see you with someone else they're not gonna be happy at all um the two of wands two of wands yeah they're they're waiting for that reconciliation two of wands in reverse eight of cups in reverse this eight of cups in reverse is someone who literally wants to return but it hasn't happened so they right now they're in this two of wands they don't want to be here contemplating what to do or feeling stuck you know in separation but I feel like for some of you, I don't know why I'm seeing a movie scene in my head. It's no particular movie. It's just a random thing where I'm seeing, like, ugh, it's so weird. They come home, but you're in bed with someone else. That, that, that's what I'm seeing. I've seen like a movie scene like that. So it's like, here they are contemplating how to get back with you. Then they come back and it's boom, like, oh my gosh. You may have a new love interest when they come back. And it's not going to be nice. Like, just like the scene that I just described, maybe not that extreme, but just kind of picture that. Like, honey, I'm home. Um, they have this whole plan in their head to make it work with you and you've already moved on because you may have gone through this time and time again with them it just didn't work out i hate that i explained it so extreme but like i don't know why i saw that whole little scene in my head it's so weird um the page of wands it doesn't mean that that's literally gonna happen by the way i hope not but the moon in reverse could be a pisces that some of you are dealing with oh we got capricorn energy this person we got the devil energy here we got the moon in reverse the high priestess scorpio this is the fourth time this is the fourth time if you're new to this channel just go back and look at the past four scorpio readings the devil the moon the high priestess so for some of you this is that same person who thinks you're a witch and it, again, it's in the position of their fears. And, you know, we have the page of wands as their fears. Forget about the devil for now. I feel like they have a fear because remember you got the page of wands, you know, you're wanting to start something new, you know, do something exciting. This is actually their fear. They don't want you to do that, you know. That's their fear is that you'll get this new exciting idea to, you know, go out and flirt, have a good time. And then they'll lose you to someone else. I feel like this devil energy does connect to that as well. Where they're kind of, I feel like they might be stalking you. They might be trying to uncover something. They feel like they're going to uncover some kind of third party situation with you. That they're going to find something out. They're also still afraid of the witch thing. They also still feel like you've bound them in some way or just little tiny suspicion in the back of their minds but I feel like now what makes this different from the last few Scorpio readings is you branching out with this flirt card here and this page of wands that's the difference is that you're going to get this whole new idea to go enjoy yourself and that's not not what they've expected you know let's clarify this five of wands see what's going on with this because 
Let me see what kind of drama is going to happen. I feel like they've been lingering around, even though there's been no contact. Five of Cups here, Queen of, Queen of Cups here. They're going to get in their feelings about something, so their emotions are going to trigger this Five of Wands. If there is some conflict that happens or they confront you about something, it's because of their deep feelings for you. Especially if they hide these feelings, you'll see it come out in their actions when they get pissed off at you for something. Um, especially if it's to do with flirting. So, there's that. Why the Ten of Cups? Why am I shuffling the wrong way? <laughs> and the High Priestess is there waiting for the second time. Why the Ten of Cups? Justice, Queen of Wands. There is a custody battle for some of you going on. Not all of you. Some of you may get the kids. Um, but the Queen of Wands in reverse. I don't know why this person is so angry. I don't know. For some of you, it's like you've moved on or you're going to be moving on and they don't want that new person. And I, I feel like it's a male. So it's like they just don't want to see that new man in your life. It could be, it's male or female, but I'm, I'm seeing male figures. I don't know why. But they don't want that other, that new male in your life. And especially if you have kids with this person who you're separated from, they don't want anyone new around their kids. I don't know why that's coming up. I just have to say it. Page of Cups. This person may express their feelings to you. The Sun. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. For some of you, I'm seeing something to do with child, like kids. Um, something to do with child support. This is not for all of you. I'm just getting this out of the way because it's, it's like hitting me now. The page of cups being a child, the sun being a child, the ten of wands and the six of pentacles in reverse. So one is, is not paying child support or like no longer wanting to pay child support I don't know if it's because you have a new male in your life and they decide you know how that gets where they, they don't want to give you money out of spite because you have a new man in your life and blah 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 but that's very specific and that's for whoever needs to hear that um that they they may try to pull back on that on the child support which is drama. So that could be the five of wands, you know, them being angry and, and spiteful in the end. You know, I don't know, but it has to do with their feelings. They're getting their feelings about something, definitely watching you and hanging around, even though there's no communication. But anyway, back to the general message, the page of cups. For those of you who are not dealing with that, all of that stuff, I do see this like it can be a, a oops it can be an expression of their feelings or them like coming out and opening up about how they feel but you might there might be some rejection surrounding that like you might reject them some of you not all of you and it could be vice versa but a lot of drama the main thing here is that you are moving on with your life or at least just flirting and seeing what's out there and your person i feel like they're gonna find out and this they're not gonna respond well to it you know the true feelings are gonna come out that they're really in love still so we have libra energy um a lot of leo energy I just want to clean up a little bit. Libra energy again, Virgo energy, could be dealing with a Virgo, Cancer, 
Libra, Capricorn, Pisces. So, what do we have for Scorpio? Don't let your past hold you back. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Scorp Scorpio. Full, full moon in Sagittarius. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Why am I shuffling again? The energy is gaining momentum. Um, your commitment is being tested. I don't know about this person. I don't know. I don't even know how this is going to end up with this person. Like if you're going to be with them or not. I just know that there's some drama that for some of you is about to unfold. Especially if you are trying to live your life and flirt. That might blow up. And then there's the pregnancy thing. There could be a shocking pregnancy, an unexpected pregnancy. So, um... If you're not wanting that, wrap it up. But that came out this the last reading, and it's coming out in this reading, so it must be speaking to someone. We have opportunity, romance. You see, there is there's like new love opportunity coming for you. Perfect timing, success, not the right time. I feel like you might be taking it slow, especially when you're flirting lighthearted. You're probably not going to dive in 100% with your feelings with someone new. But there is a lot of flirting. You're going to see a lot of options, potential partners, success, and the person who you're separated from because maybe you had conflict with them or they were playing games with you or whatever they were doing. They're not going to like it but for some of you this person may have brought it on themselves depending on what they've done to cause separation with you um or it could be both of you who did something but i just know that they're not a fan of whoever comes into your life next okay so <laughs> and with the commitment being tested card i do feel like I do feel like for some of you, you're not done with this person that you're separated from because this could just be a test in your relationship and, the, and then the relationship continues. So it doesn't have to be a full-on breakup and you moving on. Not for all of you, but... Main thing is that you, you're living your life and then boom, there's, there's this jealousy with this person. Okay, um, I feel like with the six of pentacles especially you may have some of you may have been dating someone who was on a high horse feeling like really confident that they thought you were hooked on them that you were there to stay and then boom you are flirting with someone else and they're like what the hell i thought i had this under control you know there is going to be a surprise for this person it's going to be a shocking surprise but yeah, that's what I'm seeing, Scorpio. It's a lot of drama, but in the midst of all of it, I don't see you being negatively affected. I see you just kind of, I'm seeing, uh, just like I had that image of the movie scene, I'm now seeing you walking away from the car and then it blows up and you're just completely unbothered. <laughs> why am i seeing that that's some of you for sure i know it's not all of you but you just kind of unaffected like something this is all gonna blow up and you're gonna be unaffected but oh well um scorpio this is what i'm seeing for you it looks quite exciting i'm not gonna lie looks exciting but dramatic a little bit but i hope you get through this I've, I do see you being unbothered anyway, so, you know. Check your other placements if you want to see what else is coming. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. And thank you so much for watching.